Hey guys, I'm Zen and welcome back to the basement Dino Dungeon. Check this out guys, right here on the floor, I actually have a custom made Jurassic World Dominion logo carpet. I think it's looking really really good. Okay, so today we will be reviewing two different sets. First one right here is actually the Outpost Chaos playset. We also have a bag of Kinder Joy mini dinosaur figurines. I'm super excited guys, okay? So after opening the Chaos playset, we will be putting dinosaurs around it, okay? So let's get right into it. Okay guys, so let's begin by taking a look at this beautiful artwork on the packaging. So basically you can see we have a Giganotosaurus right over here and this control tower seems to be like falling over. It looks really good. We have a Pyroraptor over here with a soldier, I'm not too sure what to call him. You know, just firing like a projectile right at the Pyroraptor. Okay, it's looking very good. And it comes with a, um, I think it's this is an exclusive Pyroraptor figure along with a human figure. I think it's really, really awesome. Let's move over here. If you take a look at the back of the box, you can basically find different angles of the outpost playset. It's looking really good, okay? Um, yeah, the different angles of the box, no difference from other packaging. So let's open this up right now. Alright guys, so first, let's get the Pyroraptor out from the box, okay? It is out, that is really fast. Let's get the human figure out as well. Okay, let's get him out. Easily done. Let's have a close look at this Pyroraptor over here, okay? This is basically like, you know, the older version of the attack packs. We also have another one, we can do a comparison later on. Let's check this out, looks very good. You can actually rotate the entire head, you can move it up and down, the arms can be moved, the legs can be moved, the tail can be rotated, and of course, you guys will want to scan this in your fax app. Pause the video and scan this in your fax app that you can download from the you know Google Play Store as well as the App Store. All right, let me scan this figure as well, let's do it. All right. I think this should be really fast. Let's scan this. Yeah, there you go. So you basically have the Pyroraptor in your fax app right now. Just a quick look at the fax. Okay, it's basically a very lightweight dinosaur. Okay, AR feature. I know that you guys have already seen this, but let's just do a quick one. Okay. There you go. Let's make it really small. There you go. A really beautiful. Pyroraptor, okay? Let's have a look at the human figure right now. I don't think I know the name of this guy, but yeah, he looks pretty good. Comes with, um, what is this? It seems to be our, a sling gun. You can actually put this right over here. It's looking really good. I think it's time for us to quickly open this set. Okay, let's do this together. There's another tape right over here. Cut this open. The other side, have to be really careful when you're using this. Yeah, the box actually mentioned that you need adult assembly, okay? So you basically need, you know, if you're a kid, you basically need your parents to help you out. Wow, this is actually a very, very huge playset. So it comes with a bag of um, different like fences. These are also like the gates. I think it's looking really good. I think this will take us some time to actually assemble, all right? And these are basically like the doors, the gates. This seems to be, um, you know, a support on the floor. And here are some stickers, some projectiles, some missiles, some weapons. And of course, the instruction sheet, which is inside. Um, another piece of equipment. This seems to be like a fence. Wow, this seems to be a really, really huge set which I'm, I'm not too sure where we can actually display this. We'll find out where we can actually display this. And um, the building is actually inside the outpost. Let's get this out. Wow, it's really stuck inside. Okay. Okay, so this seems to be the control tower. And um, another base, I think. This seems to be the um, the base. 
But you can see like a little cave with um a door, I think. Looks fantastic, but there are like plenty of different pots. So oh, okay. So I'm not too sure whether we should be displaying this set or should we be putting um them back into the box. I'm not too sure. I shall decide later on, okay? So I think it's time for us to assemble this. Alright, so let's begin. I think the first step is basically to put on the stickers. So this one will actually go right here, guys, okay? Just gonna be really, really careful. I'll try to do this to the best of my ability. I'm not really good at sticking stickers. So I'm just gonna try my best. Seems to be a little bit big, I think. This is weird. Seems to be like overlapping. But yeah, still looking decent, I guess. All right, moving on. This one is basically, you have to put the stickers right over here. So I think this video can be like a step-by-step, -step, a step-by-step -step guide for everyone who'll be getting this set, you know, and assembling it on your own. Yeah. So hopefully this video can act as a tutorial for you guys. All right, so the first step is done. Okay, just a point to take note, there are actually four sides, so you basically need to put the longer side, you know, on the side with the longer indentation for you to place the stickers on, okay? Just to take note of that. All right, now we have to place in the screen, the computer screen, into this control station. I'm not too sure whether I'm able to do it. It seems to be quite difficult for me to reach. Just gonna try my best. It's not going to be a perfect because I don't have a pair of tweezers with me. Yeah, so you just have to be really careful. I think this is these. Nah, this is not good enough. I want it to be perfect. Okay, I think this is decent. Yep, there you go. You have the screen inside, which I think looks pretty good. Let me focus on that. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Now for the other side, I think. Yep. Okay, guys, so there are actually four different screens that you need to put the stickers on. Okay, um, some of my stickers are kind of like slanted, but I think it's fine. Okay, the next one is actually this little I'm not too sure what this is. It seems to be like a meter. Yeah. To put this here, I think. If I'm not wrong. Um let's see. Yeah, I think so. This side. Just place it on. Okay, I think it looks pretty good. Okay, next step. Just have to snap this one onto this part, like this. Yep, it's done. And then the next one, you snap this little station onto this kind of like metal fencing. Push it right in, looking very good. And now you assemble the gates or we can actually call them like doors, metal doors, metal gates. Snap them on like this. Wow, it's tough. Pretty tight. They so use plenty of force. I don't think... I don't think kids will be able to do them themselves. Do this themselves. You know, even for myself, I'm kind of like struggling. You guys know how weak I am. <laughs> okay, let's try this. Okay, there you go. The gates are done. Okay, so now we'll fix this. What do you call this? Like a balcony. No, not a balcony, like a fencing. Onto the control station. It's done. Okay, and this seems to be like a, um, I'm not too sure, like an antenna. You snap this onto um, the side of it. And then you insert this i think not too sure how i'm gonna do this 
I think this is to be inserted into this part right here, if I'm not wrong. No. Okay, it should be this direction. Just push it right in. Yep, nicely done. Okay, next, we'll place the control tower over this little, what do you call this? This pillar. Okay, looks looking very, very nice, guys. Looking awesome. Let's proceed to the next step. All right, next, let's put, what do you call this? A launcher onto this launcher pillar, I guess. Is that a right name to call it? Not too sure. We have two pieces. Okay, this one seems to be the same. I think they are exactly the same. Let's place in the um, projectile, the missile. Let's try this. There's a button right here. So I guess when you press it, it will shoot. Let's try this using the human as, a, as the target. Three, two, one, go. Oh, that's pretty, that's pretty good. All right, let's move on to, I think we can now assemble the entire set. Okay, first, let's snap this on. This is basically the door. You have to just like, you know, it's pretty hot. So you have to use plenty of force. Okay, this is done. And this part will actually step onto this portion of the control tower. So let's try this. There you go, nicely done. And this part will actually connect to um, this one. Is this, um, I think it should be the other side. It should be from the inside, I guess, like this. Okay, it's looking very nice, I'm saying. And you connect to another pillar, I think. This is a pillar, but without the um, weapon. Right here, should be facing outside, I guess, like this. And now you connect the other side. Oh, what about the base? Oh, the base should be placed right here, guys. Like this. Looking very, very awesome. Yeah. It's looking so, so good. Can you actually snap this on? Because it's looking like, you know, it's not really moving. It's not really closing, but I think this is fine. And now for the other part. To snap this on, like this, I guess, the other side. Wow, it's looking very cool. And the last part, it's actually this control tower again. I mean the control tower, this weapon pillar. So this is basically the entire outpost set. I think it's looking really good at the moment. Let's have a close look at this. Let's take a tour around it. Okay guys, so let's have a good look at this playset. So this one, let's start off from um, the left hand side. So this is basically the um, missile. Okay, so you can basically tilt this down. You can press the button. You can shoot. It's very cool. And this part is basically like the gate. So it's looking really nice. There are like nice spotlights at the top. Looking very, very awesome. This is basically like a part. Um, it's basically like the base of the control tower and there's a button right here. So once you press this button, the entire tower will actually fall. Check this out. You can actually push it down further like this. You guys see that? Very cool, okay? You can of course bring it back up like this snap it back it's very cool i mean in the case where you don't have enough space to display this because it's really tall you can actually have it collapse which is really really nice as well 
there's another button right here so once you press this this entire fan will just fall off which is very cool okay so let me put this right back again and you can actually take this pyro raptor simulate you know it is attacking the outpost like this oh uh, you press it yeah you can actually use it to like you know hammer the set you know I, I can't do it right now so once you press it hard enough it will actually if you, have, you have to press it like twice for this tower to actually fall down okay completely fall down which is really really awesome let's have a look at the um control station you can see beautiful screens inside it looks really really amazing if you move to the back let's flip it over you can see this is another part for you to possibly connect another playset which is awesome there's a nice ladder right over here for the human to actually climb up so you can actually take the human thing climb up this little um, control tower you can have it placed inside as well yeah it's looking very very cool i love this okay let's move back to the um front part again so you can see right here you actually have a what do you call this the control station and then and there's a dna code for you guys to actually scan so let's scan this one as well okay guys so there are actually a couple of stuff that we have forgotten to um placed in okay so this is basically like, like a fencing so it has to be placed right here so just pop it in it looks very nice this is like a ladder that you can actually hang right here which is very cool yeah all right so let's scan this okay let's scan this let's see whether, whether we are able to scan this we got it nice we, we got it guys so this is basically outpost KR sound effects are now unlocked let's see what is this wow if you have the outpost chaos playset place your device on the playset to start your sound mixing journey what is this okay jungle territory pick of theme is a game Wow. Let's try this. Okay. I'm not too sure what this is about, guys. I think you're basically like pressing different sounds to mix them up and you can play like this. yeah it's basically for you to select different balls and the sounds of the creatures you can record them yeah it's it's pretty fun i would say what about this one let's see let's see it's basically different sound effects that you can actually you know play around and record like a um yeah a music like a collection of the different sound effects for yourself pretty cool i must say okay and speaking of scanning i think we have yet to scan um this one right here so let's try to scan this one all right oh we have already scanned this i mean just now so that's fine okay let's take a look at this portion right here so this portion is basically for you to place different dinosaurs smaller ones i think because you can't really big um i mean keep the huge ones right here and this part is basically for you to like put your mobile phone i guess like over here i, th I, I think for the um sound recording um you know um game and here it's basically there's another gate right here which we have forgotten to um you know used just now and of course another weapon right over here and if you flip it over you're able to see like a control panel right over here which looks very good yeah, so this is basically the entire outpost playset. So what we are going to do right now is that we are going to take a few dinosaurs and place them around the playset, okay? So let's go. Okay guys, so now we are at level 2 Jurassic World Midlands to pick up a few dinosaurs to be placed, you know, inside the Chaos playset. I think this section right here will be the space where 
I will be displaying the Chaos playset. And I'll probably keep all these, you know, figurines into a box. I'm not sure. We'll see about that, okay? All right. So let's pick up a few dinosaurs, starting with the Gigar for sure. The Gigar will definitely be uh, in the Chaos playset. The Pyroraptor, definitely, we need to do a comparison. Let's grab hold of a um, couple of um, Velociraptors as well. And Beta. Okay. Let's take a few Atrociraptors as well. Probably like two or three. I mean, we only have three anyway. Okay, into the box. And now let's pick up some other figures. Maybe the Silaroos and um, also the Moros and Trapidus. Let's just take the smaller ones. We'll, we can probably take the Mega Raptor as well. Okay, let's grab all of the Mega Raptor. Um, Rugops. And. Creamisaurus into the box. Okay, seems like we only have um the carnivores. I think it's important for us to have some herbivores as well. If there is an Asaurus, would definitely be needed. Let's grab hold of it. Into the box. Maybe the Paris Rolophers as well. Okay, maybe the um, Iguanodon. How about Ampelosaurus? I really love this figure. Let's grab hold of this. Into the box. Okay guys, so I'm ready. Let's take this box and enter our basement Dino Dungeon. Alright, and what we will be doing right now is that we'll be placing all these figures you know, over here, okay? So let's go. Guys, I have an idea, okay? I'm basically going to put this playset at level 2 Jurassic World Midlands, you know, that little space for my carnivores, I think we should be able to fit it in. We'll try this after we have placed all the dinosaurs in, okay? So yeah, let's place um the Strike Strike and Raw. Strike and Raw Giga right over here first, okay? I think it's, it looks really, really awesome and it's placed inside over here. It's looking awesome. Okay, next up, let's place um, the Therizinosaurus. Therizinosaurus was such an epic dinosaur in the movie. You know, she or he was basically able to kill the Giganotosaurus, I mean, with the help of the T-Rex, for sure. So let's place this over here. Um, we can also put blue, but maybe blue can be placed on top of this little, what do you call this? I don't think so. I think, yeah, I think we should be able to do that. Let's try. Let's try this. Yeah, it's, it's really difficult. Let's try this again. Yeah, you can't really balance it, but yeah, I think we can do that. We can actually put some, you know, atrocity raptors, um, you know, maybe right here. I think that would be cool. Inside this control station, I think it's gonna look awesome. Like this. Let's try. Yeah, it's looking very, very awesome. It, it feels like, you know, the dinosaur has infiltrated the, the, the camp. And of course, you can actually open this gate right over here to put in more figures like the um, Parasaurolophers over here. I mean, Parasaurolophers shouldn't be with the carnivores for sure. How about the Ampelosaurus? Yeah, I can also put like the Ampelosaurus right over here. I mean, I just want to fill this space with, um, you know, lots of dinosaurs so that we can actually take like a nice photo for our thumbnail. I think that would be awesome. Let me close the gate first. I think it's going to look... I think it looks better with the gate closed. Uh, let's arrange this so that when we are taking like a um, nice photo, it will look good. All right, let's see what else we've got. We have the Mega Raptor as well, guys. This is like one of the latest figures. I think this one actually looks um, pretty awesome. Is this the right way? I think this is the right direction. So have you guys seen this already? It's a pretty awesome figure. I mean, in case that you guys have not scanned this, you can still do it right here, okay? You can scan this in your effects app. It's a really, really awesome figure. All right, 
Let's see what else we've got. Why is there like a line over there? Oh, I think there's a, like a little hair right here. Uh, I think that's fine. All right, let's put some smaller dinosaurs. We have the Rugops Primus. Okay, this is basically from the um, what? What is the new attack pack called? I can't remember. I want to do like a um, comparison with the other Pyroraptors. So we have actually two Pyroraptors, two different paint schemes, but I feel the sculpt, I think they should be the same. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you take a look at the face, they are exactly the same. Okay, but of course, the body is different. This one is actually a battle damage, extreme damage um, figure. This is pretty much basic. Okay, and both don't have um, painted toe claws for your knowledge. Let's place them right over here. I think this one has some difficulty standing this figure of mine. Moros Intrepidus. Moros Intrepidus is right over here. You can actually scan this. Okay. Oh, just a quick preview, guys. On Saturday, we will be reviewing this brand new set, which is a mini figure set. Okay. Check this out. It actually comes with some fencing right over here. Um, I think this Therizinosaurus is actually a new figure. There is also a new Gallimimers, I think. So there are a total of um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 different new minis. I can't wait to open this on Saturday. Yeah, Saturday is going to be awesome. We'll be opening this as well as some other new figures. Alright. Next up, we have a Silarus right over here. Silarus. Silarus right over here. This is also um, the um, extreme damage version. Place this right here. Let's see what else we've got. The raw revolver. Okay, not a raw revolver. This is actually an iguanodon, a beautiful one. Check this out. You can actually pull this up, scan this in the effects app. This is basically the um, raw strikers. I can't remember the names of all these new figures, guys. What is the new um, attack pack cards? Um, I, I really can't remember. Let's press this down. So this is basically the new duck built dinosaur. To be honest, I'm not a huge fan of this because the neck seems to be a bit too long for my liking. I actually like the Edmontosaurus and the um, Parasaurolophus more because I think they look more realistic to me. What about you guys? Let me know down below. Okay, next, this is basically the um, Quimosaurus. Okay, Quimosaurus. I think, if I'm not wrong, this is a dinosaur discovered in um, Argentina, if I'm not wrong, if I remember correctly. Okay, I'll place this right over here. And we also have two more Atrociraptors, okay? I think this is red. It could be tiger. And this one should be Pan Panthera. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so basically, this is the Chaos playset. I think it is a super cool playset. I'm definitely going to try placing this playset, you know, um, into my lever 2 shelf. Hopefully, it can fit. I'm not too sure. Okay. Oh, we still have one last figure right here. This is basically um, Beta. Very, very nice one right here. So, this is basically Velociraptor Beta, the baby of blue. Okay. So, yeah. All of the figures are placed, you know, around the Chaos Outpost playset. So I think it's time for me to take like a nice thumbnail before we proceed on to level 2 to see whether we are able to fit this entire set into that shelf. I think we should be able to, hopefully, hopefully, okay? Let's go. Okay guys, so I've basically finished taking the thumbnail photo and right now we are going to bring the entire box of figurines up uh, along with this playset to level 2 Jurassic World Millions to see whether we are able to squeeze it right in, okay? Into that carnivore's shelf. Okay guys, so basically I've managed to find a space to put this, um, you know, outpost chaos playset. I think it's looking very good. So this section used to be um, a place where I'm putting my, you know, my vintage Jurassic Park dinosaurs. So right now, I think we have to find like a um, another space for all of this. I'll probably squeeze in the two Spinosaurus over here. And um, I'll try to squeeze in the other T-Rex, you know, 
right over here, okay? But, you know, I quite like how this has turned up. Yep, it's looking very good, I must say. Okay, all right. So, yeah, so I've basically, you know, um, created more space for the carnivores, you know, for Jurassic World Dominion. So that's very good. I've basically placed this vehicle right over here along with um, the container for the Atrociraptor right here. So this space, I think, will be a space where we can put like different vehicles and different playsets. Hopefully, we have still enough space, okay? All right, thanks for watching this. I'll see you guys on Saturday. On Saturday, there will be plenty of um, new unboxing. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.